Hi, it's Kate from Isilicious Designs and today I'm going to show you how to make these very cute little Christmas wreaths. Now, you can, we're going to be just using a hook, not using a loom. You can make them completely with bands or you can jazz them up and use different coloured beads as well or you can use a mixture of beads and bands as your decoration however you choose to do them. We are going to do a combination today of beads and bands so that I can show you how to do both. So I'm going to use five of these red sparkly uh, beads and I'm going to use five white bands like that. I'm going to probably use a couple, three maybe, of white bands to do the little bow at the top and the rest are going to be green bands and uh, as I said we are just using a hook so you're going to take a single green band and you're going to wrap it around your hook once and twice and we're going to start by double banding and you're going to slide your little end cap onto two bands and reclaim we're going to do this ten times so that's our first second third, fourth, fifth, six, seven, oopsie, nine and ten we are not going to reclaim we're just going to push it over like that okay we're not reclaiming it we're going to flip this side up and push our hook through the end cap like that and then we will reclaim our bands we'll take a single band and we're going to slide it through all of those and reclaim and we're going to do that with one more like that so this is the little circle that we're going to be working around okay so first of all we're going to find out where we're going to put our little um, hook through and our first color of choice now I'm going to do a white band first so I'm going to wrap it around my hook once twice and three times I'm going to take a single green band and I'm going to go through this first loop here. Now I'm going to zoom in so you can see exactly what I'm doing and let's hope we don't go out of focus. So we're going to skip this one and go through here. Single band, pull it through. Now before you reclaim the other end we're going to slide this white band on one side and then reclaim then you'll take another green band a single and we're only going to be doing singles from from now on and you're going to pull it so far that it falls off <laughs> pull it through like that and reclaim now we're going to do two stitches in each of these so this is the same this is the same stitch that my first one is in I'm going back through it and I'm going to do a single crochet in there with nothing on it, no bead or band, like that. So for our second one, I'm going to pop a red bead on. This is my second loop. I'm going to go through here like that. Grab a single band, pull it halfway through and pop my red bead on and reclaim and then finish off my crochet and then I'm going to go back through that same spot in here and do another single crochet or stitch a, red, a white band, wrap it once, twice and three times this time we're going into the third one pull it through slide your white band on 
and reclaim and a single and pull it through. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit so you can see a little bit clearer for the whole project. We do a single in here again next to the white, the same spot that the white one was in. We'll do a single. Now we're going to do a red bead again. Pop your red bead on first. Now I'm using a 2.75 hook so my bead goes down quite nicely. But if you don't have that, as you pull your band through, that's when you would loop on your bead, either using um, some floss or a metal threader. If you don't, uh, if you're not used to it, you can use a metal threader. And I can show you how to do that. Let's do our band single, wrap it once, twice, three times slide your hook through the next stitch single band and you're sliding your white band onto it and reclaiming and tying those all in together going back through and doing one more in there And these are mini wreaths. So if we did not have a hook that could fit our bead down, what you can do is use a metal threader. Now I made one from a twisty tie. You can do the same thing. There's a tutorial on my uh, page that you can do that. So all you would do is use your metal threader, pop it, your, bit, your band in and slide your bead in like so and then what we would have to do or actually we should probably wait let's we push your hook through there first then drag this through now this is where you would put your metal threader or your floss or whatever you're using so grab your metal threader you probably take your hook out of that particular stitch hold on to those ones though so get your metal threader slide on like that you need to put that back on your hook it is a little bit more fiddly it's not as fiddly if you're using bands because you don't have to thread anything put it through once, twice, three times, poke it through the next stitch, oops come back here stitch, loop stitch thing, green thing, <laughs> there we go, pop that on there, pull through, we have to do another one in here, it's an increase Here we're going to do our red. So you're going in the next, this is where we work, so this is the next one. And in the same spot. Now I do white. And another one in the same spot.
And our lucky last is going to be in that end cap. So we're going to put our bead on and then go through the end cap because we're back at the beginning. Slide on, reclaim. And then back through the end cap with the increase. Like that, and then you're going to pretty this up, and you can see these two. I'll grab those, pull our hook through all four, so we're joining all of them up. Reclaim and do your slip knot like that. Okay, now what we need to do is have a little bow. Well, you don't have to, but I think it looks quite nice. So you have two white bands, pinch them closed, take a third one, Oops. pinch these two closed, <laughs> take a third one, you're going to pinch it too and hold it like a cross and then take one side and the other and fold those other two down and pull like that and then I'm going to go in one side and come out the other side and we're just going to pop this through don't stretch it too much you don't want it to be overly loose and there we have the bow at the top I hope you enjoy making your mini Christmas wreath take care bye bye